I've had this dialogue exchange in my head all day and it goes like this. I'll give you $10,000 right now for you to quit this job and become a travel vlogger. What do you say? Thanks, but no. I'm serious. $10,000 right now for you to just take that leap. Uh, you know, that's all right. <laughs> um, give it to somebody else. I don't want it. Come on, you make what, minimum wage here? I'm offering you $10,000 to travel the world and be your own boss. Yeah, I get it. I understand what you're offering. I don't want it. Why not? Somebody has to run the cafe. I could uproot my life, go traveling. I mean, I'm sure I'd see some amazing things. I'd hike up a trail to some glorious viewpoint or visit cultural sites and museums that are rich with history so I could have a meal at some family-owned restaurant that the same folks have owned for generations. And if I did that, those things would be possible because of park rangers and maintenance workers and curators and cooks and servers and accountants and road crews. And I'm willing to bet that a lot of those people get up in the morning and want a cup of coffee. So somebody has to run the cafe. Why not me? I'm not saying that life can't be or shouldn't be an adventure, that it shouldn't include travel, that you shouldn't make a go of it as a travel vlogger if that's what you want to do, but somebody has to run the cafe. Somebody has to cook the food and pick up the trash, somebody has to file paperwork. And sometimes I feel like we're so focused on telling people that that's not all life has to be that we forget to let them know that sometimes that's what life can be and that it can be marvelous. You can be so happy and so contented doing the work of day-to-day -day living, those little things that keep the machine running. I haven't traveled extensively, but I've still had those kind of magical moments. I mean, I've been to Disneyland and seen the fireworks. I've ridden on horseback. I've gone camping and looked up at a sky so full of stars you wouldn't believe it if you've lived in the city your whole life. I have seen and done extraordinary things and I also have stood at this sink and listened to an audiobook and washed dishes and felt so contented and proud and settled to be in my house washing my dishes looking out the window at a summer day. So I've had that little exchange running through my head and I've been thinking about it not because I don't believe there are people who would love $10,000 and the opportunity to become a travel vlogger but because I know that I'm not one of those people and I have to keep telling myself over and over and over again that just because my life doesn't photograph well doesn't mean that it's not worth living, that it's not worthwhile and fun and extraordinary and that boring isn't a bad thing. Somebody has to clean the cat's litter box and somebody has to vacuum the living room and somebody has to cook dinner and somebody has to pay the property taxes and the utility bills and, and, and this is the price I pay and this is the gift I receive for having made commitments and taken on responsibilities and built a life. I'm thinking about commitment. I'm thinking about children and marriage and houses. I'm thinking about how people say that these things will tie you down somehow and you know what they will. They will. And sometimes they need to and should. But they also won't. They don't have to. What I want, more than $10,000, more than traveling the world, more than adventure and heartache and mystery and romance and fantasy and all of it, I think what I want is to take 
clean cups out of the cupboard, pour a cup of tea, I think what I want is to wash dishes, my dishes, at my sink, in my kitchen, in my home. I think what I want is to find pleasure and satisfaction in the maintenance of my life because somebody has to run the cafe.